Hey guys, Brittany here from Pennies Into Pearls. Today I am sharing with you guys my monthly meal plan for the month of December-ish. We do five weeks, at, we're doing five weeks this month, um, so that's gonna take us from the second week in December through the first week of January. If you are interested in seeing what our family eats on a $400 per month budget, this is where it is. On tomorrow's video, you guys will see my grocery haul, and I'm going to give you all the exact numbers um, as to what we spent. So make sure you're subscribed, and if you are subscribed, make sure that you click that little, where's my finger? I don't know where it is. That little bell thing next to the subscribe button. That means that you're not going to miss out on anything. Make sure you click that thing. It's kind of important. So let's jump into it. <laughs> couple links for you guys. I'm going to start popping them up here in the corner that you can click on these little eyes and then also there's going to be links down under in the little description box right below this video um, and what the first link is going to be is a link to this entire monthly meal plan. You guys will be able to download it and then you're going to be able to click on let me show you. You're going to be able to click on all of these menu items and it will direct you to the website where I got the recipe and if you do go over there and visit them, tell them that Brittany from Pennies into Pearl said hi. <laughs> and um, just leave a comment and tell them thank you because that is what we do. We like to share the love. Anyways, let's stop being weird. Okay, so there will be this monthly meal plan that you can download, clickable links for you guys. Also down there, there's going to be a link for you guys for meal planning on a budget toolkit. What's in there is the monthly meal plan, the weekly meal planner, and then also a grocery shopping list on a budget. And within all of those different worksheets, let me show you, there are different areas. So you can see here estimated cost um, for your grocery list, and then also, um, so your weekly meal planner, your grocery list, and your monthly meal planner, depending where you're at on these different things, um, that is going to help you. So um, you're gonna wanna head over there, download that, my number one tip with meal planning is that you first need to shop out of your pantry, your fridge, and your freezer. What do you already have on hand? You don't need to go spend more money if you already have something that you can eat at home. So what that means is that you can totally use my monthly meal plan, whether you're monthly meal planning or weekly meal planning. If you are weekly meal planning, you have five weeks of options here. So really, that's a lot of options. So pick and choose from this list what you already have at home that you can help make these. Maybe there's other recipes, other recipes, uh, maybe some of these recipes your family's not going to eat, so you need to choose something else because there's no sense in making something that your family's not going to eat, right? All right, so let's jump into my monthly meal plan. There is something new that I'm going to be doing um, going forward is as you will look at my monthly meal plans, you'll see that some of the recipes have a little times two on them. What that means is that I am buying enough groceries to double that recipe. So when that night comes around, I'm gonna make two of that recipe. We're gonna eat one that night, and then I'm gonna freeze the other one, making next month meal planning already super easy, and I don't have to cook some of the meals. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that, which is just going to cyclic, cyclically, cyclic, I don't know. Anyways, it's gonna make, it's gonna help with each month. One month we'll eat frozen food and then fill it back up with frozen food. So that's the plan, we'll see how it goes. I'm doing five weeks this month. Sec it's gonna take us from the second week in December through the first week in January. And um, please note that also there is going to be a link for you guys down in the description box explaining all about how our family does our monthly meal planning. What you need to know, we have $400 monthly budget that we spend on groceries. Um, you guys will see exactly the numbers tomorrow on our grocery haul video. And then um, also we only plan five menu items a week because mainly um, we eat leftovers at least once a week, sometimes two nights a week, or we just eat something quick like quesadillas or cereal or something that doesn't really go into our grocery haul, um, but that's really quick or mom and dad go out on a date, or we go out to dinner as a family, and the kids maybe will just eat mac and cheese at home because they love it, or whatever. So really, we found that I was, I was planning seven meals a week, and I found that we were just wasting a ton of food. So we moved to this five meals a week, and it works out great. If you find that you aren't producing, like if your family's eating all the food, 
and you don't have leftovers, think about maybe um, think about maybe increasing the size of your meal that you're making so that way you do end up with leftovers because le eating leftovers and reheating them, having them for lunch or dinner or whatever is a huge time saver. So I'm just saying. Oh, another thing is I'm not going to be sharing my um, grocery list with you guys anymore, mainly because I just didn't see it being super useful for you guys because it's not a complete grocery list. It's only groceries that we needed as our family needs. Um, again, based off of what we already have in our fridge, freezer, and pantry, which you guys should be doing the same thing. So that's why I've linked all of these recipes for you guys, um, hopefully making it really easy for you guys to create your own grocery list um, off of what you already have at home because we don't want to double. We don't want to spend more money than we need to, right? Okay, so let's hop into this meal plan, and um, hopefully you guys can um, see some ideas that your family will eat. So for week one, we're having sweet and sour chicken. I'm going to double that. Tacos, stuffed shells, which is like a, those like clam shell pasta stuff with like cheesy, yummy gooeyness. Mmm. Beef roast. Bonus, you guys. Have you guys, I mean, I talk about it all the time. Ibotta, have you heard about it? If you haven't, you have to go sign up for it. It's a completely free app. I'm going to do a video all about it because I'm in love with it and I use it for more than just groceries. So pretty much what it is is a rebate app. So an example would be this, for the last couple weeks actually, they have a rebate on any brand beef roast. So you can go into the store, buy your roast, come home, scan the roast and your receipt and you get $3 back. And if you are new to Ibotta and you're just now signing up, make sure to use my links down below because um, when you sign up using my links, you are gonna automatically get a $10 rebate after your first rebate. So rebates after rebates, it's, I mean, it might seem like a little bit because some of the rebates are like 50 cents, but trust me, it adds up quick and you could get like 10 to $20 a month if you're good at uploading your receipts. And then you can redeem it for gift cards like Target, which is the only place I pretty much redeem my gift cards. So anyways, that beef roast reminded me of that, that you guys need to be using Ibotta when you're doing your groceries shopping. Okay, and then avocado chicken pasta. My family loves it. Week two, we're doing chili cheese fries. Um, these simple recipes don't have a recipe link to them because, I mean, they're just simple. We just use french fries, a can of chili, or a frozen chili from um, last month, homemade chili, or and then shredded cheese, and we just pile it on. So you don't really need a recipe, right? Okay, homemade chicken noodle soup in the crock pot. Mmm, chicken and rice. Spaghetti, so simple, and then homemade mac and cheese, which I love. My kids prefer mac, like craft, craft mac and cheese. Is that rude? Seriously. Okay, week three is Christmas Eve. We don't plan a meal for that, but we save the money that we would be sending on that to go towards food that we're going to help contribute to our big family dinner. So um, if you are going to be doing your own Christmas dinner or like holiday dinners, whatever it may be, make sure to... Um, include that in your grocery list with the um, that you can print off with my um, toolkit. So, cream cheese chicken, crispy cheddar chicken. I haven't tried that. It looked really yummy. It has like Ritz crackers on the outside. It sounded really good. Slow cooker chicken lettuce wraps. We had some um, ground chicken in the freezer from last month that we're going to be using for that. Philly cheese steak sandwiches. Slow cooker. I try to use as many slow cooker meals as I can in the winter time. Then week four is Christmas and New Year's Eve. So I wanted to keep recipes really simple because I know that I'm going to be already doing a lot of cooking and baking already. So nachos, super easy. Coconut chicken curry. This is a slow cooker recipe and it is so good. It's a little bit spicy, but if your family doesn't like spicy, just leave out the jalapenos and it's so, so yummy. Meat and potato scramble, again, super easy. And then the last week, week five, we're going to be doing beef stir fry, which I'm going to be using from another roast um, that I use the Ibotta app to get a rebate on. King Ranch Chicken Soup. I've never tried it, but it was kind of a big recipe, like lots of recipes on Pinterest. So I'm going to try it. Have you guys ever tried it? It looked really good to me. Chicken spaghetti, skillet lasagna, and then pulled pork sandwiches. Again, crock pot recipe. It'll be so delicious. So, and then down here at the bottom, I just have ideas of things that we like to use and make for breakfast and lunch throughout the week. <clears throat> As I'm going to do my fresh grocery shopping trip, just a quick 20-minute grocery shopping trip every week, um, if there's anything down here that I plan to make for this week, like yogurt and fruit, I will buy that um, in that grocery shopping trip. So breakfast sandwiches, eggs and toast, yogurt and fruit, homemade muffins, which I just found out that you can freeze muffin batter in like the little cupcake um, paper things, freeze them in that. 
let them, um, when you're ready to make them, take them out about 10 minutes before you're ready to bake, and they bake just fine. I plan on doing a ton of freezing stuff, like a ton of freezer food once we have room for freezers. So anyways, cereal, bagels, breakfast burritos, everything super easy, quick, and delicious. Lunch, quesadillas, rolled tacos, chicken nuggets, PB&J, leftovers, mini pizzas, and burritos. So there you have it. That is our meal plan for the month of December-ish. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Again, if you're new to this channel, I do this every month. Um, I will link all our previous meal plans up here. I also have more details on my blog, which there will be a link down in the description box below. But make sure you're subscribed. And um, tomorrow's video, again, I will have my grocery haul showing you guys everything that we bought. I did buy some things online through Google Express and Amazon Prime. And you guys will see my true feelings about those things. I'm on the hunt for all-in-one, all-inclusive, one-stop shop online. I'm all about online shopping, especially if I can save money doing it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!